Hello grade 6, it's exercise 9 on the page 47. In the figure given below, the lines x, y, and z, t intersect at O. So, let's see the lines x, y. So, we have this line x, y, and the, the other line, which is z, t, they, they intersect at a point O. So, name two pairs of vertically opposite angles. We have to name two pairs. Pairs mean two. Okay. For the vertically opposite angles, for two angles to be vertically opposite angles, we have two conditions. They should have a same vertex and the side of one angle is prolongation of the side of the other angle. These are the conditions of vertically opposite angle. Let's have a look on this figure. Where do we have the shape of X as we notice here? So, where are the opposite, the vertically opposite angles? We have this angle is vertically opposite to this angle. So, this angle is ZOX or XOZ, which is opposite to TOY. So, ZOX and TOY are vertically opposite. We are asked to name two pairs. Till now, we named just one pair of vertically opposite angles. We have to find another pair of vertically opposite angle. So we look again here. We named the angles to the left and to the right. And we still have the angles above and beneath. The angle from above is ZOY or YOZ and it's opposite to the angle TOZX or XOT. So ZOY and TOX also they are vertically opposite angles. Branch B are the angles XOT XOT this angle XOT and UOV UOV and this angle are these angle vertically opposite why or why not so as we said before for two angles to be vertically opposite angles they have to fulfill two conditions they should have the same vertex yes they have the same vertex o they have the same vertex o and the side of one angle is prolongation of the side of the other angle so if we look at ov and we prolong this side we don't get ox and if we prolong UO, we don't get OT. So the sides are not prolongations of each other. So we say XOT and UOV are not vertically opposite angles since their sides or since the sides of one angle are not the prolongations of the sides of the other angle. So we say they are not vertically opposite angles since the sides of one angle are not prolongation of the sides of the other angle. Part C. Draw the figure identical to the one above where XOZ equal 25 and UOV equal 75. So, 
in this case we have to redraw this figure while this angle is 25 and this angle is 75 and we use the protractor like this case as we see here this angle is 25 and this angle UOV is 75 and then draw the semi-line OM and ON such that UOV and NOM are vertically opposite angles so we have to draw the semi-line OM and ON such that the two angles UOV U O V this angle and the newly drawn angle which is N O M N O M to be vertically opposite so we have to make the prolongations so we prolong U O and we get O M and to draw the semi-line O N we prolongate U uh, V O so we prolongate V O to get O N so in this case the the angles U O V and N O M are vertically opposite why because they have the same vertex O and the side of one angle uh, the sides of one angle are prolongations of the sides of the other angle and then what is the measure of the angle NOM this angle what's the measure of this angle we know that the opposite angles have equal measure this angle is 75 degrees so the opposite angle also is 75 degrees so in this case we say that NOM equals 75 degrees NOM we say that NOM equals UOV equals 75 degrees and why we are saying that since the two angles are vertically opposite angles and we know that the vertically opposite angles are equal 